Running a detailed inquiry into the 2G scam, stopping short of asking for an inquiry against any particular minister. Uh, uh, in removing uh, from the uh, references, it raises very serious questions which were already, already under under in a, under a shadow of doubt by us in the letters that I had sent to the Prime Minister from 2008 onwards. I mean, all these uh, issues are now coming to the fore where uh, these suspicions appear to be proving correct in a piecemeal fashion. What is required is a proper investigation to get the entire truth out. So any one letter like this is not going to confirm. I mean, the whole, whole process has to be properly, uh, properly understood, made you know, public and made accountable. So as a member of the JPC, uh, would you then say that you would as well to deport before the committee. Well, I cannot anticipate the JPC's decision, but surely these demands would be raised. Right. What would the what would your what would the uh, CPM's position be on? This? Anybody involved in this, anybody whose culpability is under doubt, anybody on whom question marks have been raised, all those will have to come before the JPC to explain their position and clarify. Even if it is the Prime Minister. Everybody involved.